I've been a professional cyclist since 2006. I took a quick rise to the top. I made it to the Garmin professional cycling team. I didn't realize everything I had had. I was one of, say, 16, 17 Americans living and racing in Europe, and I had this amazing gift, and then all of a sudden, I didn't have it anymore. One of my biggest concerns the entire time is the fact that we train on the open roads and that we're vulnerable to traffic, we're vulnerable to people not paying attention in their cars. So I've been hit three different times in my professional career. Been hit from the side, hit from behind, uh, gone through the back of a car, so I've kind of made contact with every side of a car so far. A car approached the, my left side and, and I guess it didn't see me and decided to just turn right in front of me and I T-boned it about 35 miles an hour. I felt like it was Wiley e. Coyote swinging into a brick wall, because I just stopped like that. The cars always win. You know, <laughs> they still drive away, and, and you know, the body can't do that much damage to a car, so. So here's my new kneecap. It, uh, it's where they, here's a small incision, and they put two screws in there to hold it together, as well as some wiring. Uh, abdominal surgery from an accident back in 2004, where a car pulled out in front of me in a race. Broken scapula. Got a plate in there with the six, seven screws. You definitely don't want to don't want to mess around with with traffic and and take unnecessary risk. It's come close to ending my career and and having me question if I want to keep going out there and if I want to keep risking my life to pursue this dream and to pursue this career. I've been really lucky out on the road. I haven't had any huge, um, I haven't had any crashes with cars. I kind of always get the, the typical side swiped and um, run off the road a little bit here and there, but I've been super lucky and I don't know if that's just because I haven't been out there enough. I haven't had any, you know, accidents with cars, but certainly a few uh, altercations with um, some angry drivers out there and yeah, 99.9% .9 of them are, are fine and they drive by you and keep you safe, but you know, that one little percentage, um, you know, you have to you have to watch out for and, and be aware of. You know, the the risks are, are really apparent, and um, you just have to kind of accept that. But there's there's a lot in our control that we can do to prevent it and and stay safe. It usually takes two to to cause an accident. So I tend to ride hyper aware. I try to take the guesswork out of the drivers. You want to be really predictable to drivers out on the road. They need to be able to predict if you're going straight, if you're turning. Yeah, cer certainly bike riders, I, my, myself included, I'm not exempt from this, uh, you know, might do some stupid things, bending the rules of the road, you know, rolling some stop signs or running through a red light when you can look around and see there's no cars and, you know, that, that's certainly easier, arguably safer on a bike, but it, it's still against the rules and you're, you're just asking for an accident. Uh, number one thing is slow down, you know, I mean, I think, uh, and it goes for drivers too, everybody's so hurried. You know, people don't want to be inconvenienced by having to go around a cyclist. Drivers just need to understand that cyclists are also traffic on the roads. I think drivers should just relax a little bit. You know, we're not holding up that much traffic and we might delay a few seconds, but it's not worth taking someone's life over. I think just getting more people on bikes because the more drivers that you have that have experienced what it's like being on a bike, the better they'll understand what it feels like and, and how intimidating it can be to be on a bike next to a big SUV. So yeah, education and, and just getting more people out there so that it is a normal thing for you to pay attention to cyclists on the road. Training or living in a community with, with really good bike infrastructure, with, um, with bike lanes, with uh, easy routes in and out of town to be accessible on your bike, yeah, it's, it's a huge factor. Above all, it, it keeps, keeps everyone safer. It keeps the, the motorists moving smoothly and it keeps, uh, keeps the bike riders uh, safe. If things are safe and things are easy, we're gonna we're gonna ride all ride our bikes more for sure. I think it's crazy for people not to ride bikes. Um, bikes are just amazing things that can transform your life. The the benefits of riding a bike definitely outweigh the risks of um, being out there with cars for me. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that people think, as a cyclist, we don't drive cars, <laughs> but it's I own a car and I drive it a lot. You have to respect everybody on the open road. Uh, and if we all work together, we can all, we can all enjoy exactly what we're doing and, and go along with our lives without interrupting each other.
Thank you.